If you're looking for a truly South African wine, one which has been flying the flag for South Africa, then Pinotage is that wine. I have here the De Grendel Amandelbutt Pinotage, the 2020 vintage. Uh, let's break down the name there. So Amandelbutt means uh, an almond orchard and it makes reference to the owner of De Grendel. Uh, him and his grandfather used to go horse riding through the almond orchards when he was a young kid. Uh, it's one of his favorite memories with his grandfather who happened to love Pinotage and uh, so he named the wine in honor of him. Um, now, I say that Pinotage is truly South African. Uh, what do we mean by that? Well, all the grape varieties you'll find in South Africa, your Cab Saves, the Sauvignon Blanc, Syrah, um, they've all come from old, old countries, most notably France. South African winemaking has a big French uh, influence, particularly in the earlier days. Um, you also find grape varieties that come from Spain and Portugal. Um, some from Italy, um, but Pinotage is the one grape variety which is truly South African. Uh, it was made in South Africa. And how did that happen? Well, Pinot Noir was one of the grapes which was brought over. Um, it is one of the most sought after grape varieties in the world, uh, the Queen of the Grapes as it's called. Um, but Pinot Noir loves a cold climate. Um, and if you've been to South Africa, you'll know it's not a cold place. Uh, so this presented the farmers with a problem. They wanted the light, delicate, fruity flavors, those earthy undertones that Pinot Noir has, but they needed a grape variety that could withstand the South African heat. So in the early 20th century, a uh, professor at Stellenbosch University uh, took Pinot Noir with another light grape variety, one which could withstand the South African heat, which was Sinso, or known locally as Hermitage. And he married these two grapes, so now you have the Pinot from Pinot Noir and the Edge from Hermitage to give you Pinotage. Um, so what can we expect? Well, Pinot Noir and Cinso are light in color, light in body. Ironically, that's not what we got. We have a wine which is dark in color, uh, more purple than red, really. In terms of body, it's a lot heavier. Um, one of the reasons we love the De Grendel Pinotage is when people say to us, I've never had Pinotage before, what should I try, what can I expect? We recommend this one because this hits all the notes of what a classic Pinotage should be. And what is that? Well, on the nose we can expect plums, blackberries, and the signature to Pinotage is this game, leathery sort of aroma. And that's exactly what we get here. Really the smell of home for us. On the palate, the star of the show is those uh, juicy blackberry flavors um, and that earthy note as well. Makes it perfect for meats like uh, duck. Um, and the one thing Pinotage did get from its parent grapes is this uplifting acidity that Pinot Noir and Cinso has. So perfect for a fatty red meat as well, thinking things like pork. So next time you're at, at a restaurant and you're thinking about Peking duck or pork, you should be thinking about Pinotage as well.